Lockhall Lane. Lockhall Lane Police Station. I don't need any help, sir. Okay. Sorry? Who are you up to? Oh, it's just private. Why are you, sir? I'm a police officer just leaving. Okay. Why are you hanging around? Oh, I'm just uh, taking readings. Readings of what? So it's just I need to know basis, my friend. Come on, having a conversation. No, it's okay. I hear you. you Sorry, I can't hear you. You're looking for something. Sorry? I'm just looking for something. Am I what? Sorry? Are you looking for something? Sorry, it's private. How are you? Are you working here? No. So, what are you up to? Sorry? What are you up to? Can't hear you. Sorry, I was going to say, this bit here is five o'clock, so I'll ask what you're up to. This is okay. So, so are you, sorry, are you autism or anything? It's private, sorry. Okay, mate, that's fine. I don't mind you doing any of that. But the public line is where the pavement is and across the driveway. This bit here is all private property. You don't know anything about um, applied, implied right of access, do you? Sorry? You don't know much about implied right of access? Like it's all private property, it's not It doesn't say that. It does not respect me. It's a public highway, it's there. Uh, I'll a few feet. Sticks and stones a few feet, come on. Sorry? Sticks and stones a couple of feet. Okay, I can still do what I'm doing, sir. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to let you know that that's private and there's big coming out all the time. Yeah, but the reason why the payment's here is for, for us to be able to cross. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, so just be careful when the vehicle's coming in and out. Oh, I'm very careful, my okay. friend.
Oh, and a giraffe, innit? Ah, oh, sorry, my friend, it's just uh, on a need to know basis. Private. I need to know basis? Yeah. Oh, it's private, is it? Yeah. Okay. okay. You're okay, though, are yeah, you? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, I'm all good. Oh, good. Cool. Thank you. Half of a boss is this like they like the DAS, don't they? What a shit driver. Mate, just walk off, mate. What? what, what what's he got to do with you? He is though, isn't he? Come on. What's he got to do with you? He's a shit driver, isn't he? What's he got to do with you? That's just my opinion. Well, I'd have got that in one. Come on, turn the bloody thing! I'd have had that out in one! I put it down to bad banksmen, me. Nice one, mate, yeah. Yeah. Good banksmen, you'd have had him out. Alright, what do you do for a living, buddy? HTV driver. Right. These rookies in the game these days, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I love the wild ups. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Talk about vibe. <laughs> so guys, what you've just witnessed there is a, a typical uh, bit of banter um, that is often seen and heard daily in the HGV game. It's probably one of the biggest uh, driver's frustration seeing some um, or another driver seeing that he hasn't positioned himself to do a reverse especially when it's holding people up and you'll find this more so on a service station because uh, a lot of lads they ain't taught to reverse and they prefer to just drive everything but anyway we aren't um, knocking him too much usually what you'll find in the police someone who holds an HGV license probably doesn't do much driving to be fair probably just holds the license for legal reasons to be able to take the show on the road if you get what i'm saying but yeah um many driver trainers um tutors all around the country this is one of the biggest frustrations being able to see how something can be done or should be done and 
um, not having the patience to let the learnee um, get the hang of it really. But what he should have done, he should have got a bit more central to, in, between the gates because his offside position was too close to the um, post which weren't enabling him to get his uh, turn as he was coming past the gate. So yeah, anyway, that was just a bit of uh, banter really. But what I will mention is, guys, uh, this uh, place uh, was seen on Yardley Ski's latest video. And um, when many people want to knock auditors for turning up at places, this guy uh, thought he took it upon himself to start filming the auditor, uh, thinking he was clever, telling him he's going to chuck it on his blog, this, that and the other. And, um, yeah, Yardley just stuck in there and... Uh, Anyway, he managed to get his registration plate, what he was trying to hide, uh, on his personal motorbike. Did an MOT check, and it was only out of MOT. So, yeah, um, so it's vital that we have the right to film, because usually when someone's got something to hide, uh, it comes out that they have got something to hide, and, yeah, everybody should be able to check a number plate to make sure it's tax and MOT'd and in this case a copper was uh, rolling around on a motorbike with no MOT we don't know if it was booked in for one or not but end of the day I think it was a couple of weeks out from what I can remember so yeah the rules that we adhere to should adhere to so should they so anyway if you haven't seen that video go and check it out Yardley Ski Clapham TSG until the next time, guys, ciao.